In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how you can modify a template to change the number of chapters that are displayed when you take your project and create a disk with it. The issue that I have is that most of the templates that come with PowerDirector allow you to display the contents of only three chapters at a time on any given page. And I find that rather limiting since you can actually display up to 14 of them on any given page. Let me describe what's going on here. We have in the bottom on a timeline 10 random video clips along with 10 associated chapter titles. And let's assume I'm going to create a disk using this project. I'll click on the create disk at the very top. And I can pick any of the templates that I see here. Let's take this one which says Cosmos for fun. And I'll click on Apply to All Pages. And it will automatically change it to that template. No problem there. But when I go into my menu structure, I begin to see the issue I have. We have the home page. And then we have these title pages, these chapter pages. and Anytime I click on any one of them, I have the button light up at the upper right corner. This is buttons per page. And right now my default is three. I can have less than three, but I can't have more than three. So for example, in this case, I can have a link to the drive chapter, the bonfire chapter, or the cityscapes chapter. If I go to the next page, that will give me a link to the following one, Beach Run, Canyon Lake, and Orange. And so it goes throughout my entire project. What if I want more of the chapters to be displayed on a single page? How do I do that? I need to customize my menu. And the way I do that is I go back to my content, click on Menu Preferences, Let's take this very one that we have highlighted right now and I'll right click on it and choose Modify. That will get me into my menu designer. And here's where I can change those pages that contain all my chapters. And again we see the default is 1, 2, and 3. But notice, and this is an issue that you may not be aware of, right now I'm editing the root menu. Now in the root menu, I probably don't need more than three items. I need to make sure I click the down arrow and click on the chapters and titles menu, not the root menu. So when I click on that, this, it basically looks similar, but now I'm editing in that particular page. So this will take all of my chapters. And again, right now on this template, I have three. What if I want more? I'm going to click on the second icon from the left, which is Add Menu Button. And now I click on it, I get Item 4. I'll take and drag that down. And you can position these any way you want. I'll click another one, Item 5. Another one, we'll do Item 6. Another one, Item 7. Now these are simply placeholders for your actual content. You don't edit on this screen. They're empty boxes as it were. So we'll go up to eight. Now I have eight items here. Some of the templates also come with thumbnails. So when you do the same process, you will bring down a thumbnail image of your video as well as a title for your chapter. Here we're just dealing with the titles for the chapter. So we're going to click on OK. And when you do that, it will want to save this as a new template because it wants to keep the original unaltered. So I'll just call this uh, A First Test. And you can edit these subsequent to this operation as well. So now we have this and we're saving our template. Now once it's saved, I need to apply it to my project because right now I'm still using the original template. So I have the A first test here. I'll highlight that and I'll say apply to all pages. That will mean my root menu and my titles and chapters. And now when I go into my menu structure, 
you notice what it automatically did. It defaulted to the largest number that I had available on any of these chapter pages. I click on this one here. Now I see I have up to eight that I can use on this page. We have up to eight options now because we changed our template and modified it. One thing you, you notice is that you can also, when you click on the down arrow, choose less than eight on any given page. I'm on the first page. Let's change that to six and it will recalculate. Now I have only six on the first page, which now gives me four on the second page. So it does the math and it compensates for the change in number. I'll click back on the first page. Let's say we only want two on the first page. And now I have two on the first page and I have eight on the second page. If I go to the second page and want less than eight, I can change that number, say, to four. It will recalculate. It will create a third page and it will give me four on the third page. But this is a very easy way to modify a template so you can get a lot more on the initial page or any page that you want by simply making that modification in a template and adding more of those boxes or markers for your chapter title. Now when I'm done, I, I can simply preview. And here I cannot resize the preview screen, but you can see already that I have at least six on the front page and it's off the recording screen. But this shows you a little bit about how you can make that change. So you can click on any of these and go to the appropriate chapter title and have that one play on the screen in CyberLink PowerDirector. And if you want to make any more changes, all you need to do is go back to your menu preferences, click on content, menu preferences, and you can take the, this and right click on it and click on modify again. And you go back into the editor and you can change it as many times as you like to modify the number of titles that appear on any given title page or chapter page in CyberLink PowerDirector. For example, here we're going to take this and let's add a ninth item to make it nice and symmetrical. And now we would have nine if we save it. And now since it's a customized version, it doesn't ask for a new name, but I can save it if I want to under another name as many times as I want and have all kinds of variations of the default templates that I can use in CyberLink PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.